hey, if you just do this one thing that I'm going to be talking about, it will change your life. Ah, big, big shout there, Paul. And it's not one of these miracles, it's not one of the secret ways, but it's just a very simple way of making your life better. Hey, have a listen. Well, have a listen after this little intro about the 5-Minute Quickie Podcast. This is a FMQ, the 5-Minute Quickie Podcast from me, Paul Clough, from this niche of one, hopefully a niche of one, of unplugged personal development. It's to get you thinking, to give you information, to give you some real good snippets of processes that you can use of right now in this genre of personal development, breaking things down into simple how-tos that get results. Minimum amount of effort to get the maximum amount of return and make life brilliantly good. Because in this world of personal development, self-improvement, I believe things have been made far too complicated. Or people are talking about things that they just do and they don't explain how they did them. And I'm creating processes to enable you to get those type of results easily and effortlessly. And more importantly, simply. Because as Einstein once said, in simplicity, there's genius. So therefore, we're going to create things simple. Simples. I want you to encourage you to have your dreams, to notice that sometimes when you haven't got them, it wasn't your fault. Yes, we have to take responsibility for the decisions we made, but we made those decisions with the information, the wisdom we had right then. And now you've got a chance to to really create the world you want to live in and create the you you want to be. Be fully integrated, you know, being authentic, singing from the right voice, not the right voice, your voice, and become part of this unplugged personal development team this family, this thing that we're creating and sharing, sharing everything we do with everybody. So please enjoy, have more fun than you can stand and please just listen, listen and enjoy. Warning, 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 warning. You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Not sure what you're going to make of this. But you see, the other night, in fact, it was last night, I thought of this while I was asleep. Well, I wasn't actually asleep, obviously, because I don't think about things when you're asleep. You tend to dream. But I just, I was awake, I think. I must have been. Because I I just started to, to think how I can find a simple way to make life better. And not just my life, your life, everyone's life. And as I thought about this, I noticed that I'm already doing some of it for myself. And I believe you should do this for yourself. Um, Not just necessarily first, but make sure that you do do it for yourself. And it was all about what are the small little things, simple little things that really will make your life better. And they can be, seem so, so silly. But it was just like when I go to, to do my writing or making notes for like the podcast and things like that, I started just putting on music. Music, I've got a little Bluetooth speaker. On comes Spotify, and you've got everything else you can use, but I put a nice little bit of acoustic music on in the background. And you know what? I just feel better. I noticed that I've made the area that I work in just a little different. It's a little bit more comfortable. It makes it a little bit better. I've noticed that the books I use, you know, we talked about Jenny Jones. I talked talked about about them a little while ago. The number of little Jenny Journals I've got, they're, they're all different colors. They're all lovely different. They're different textures. I love my pencils. So I've got nice pencils. Nice pens. I've got a mauve. I've got a green. They, they're just absolutely awesome. But that's just me. Because when I use those, they make my life better. And they're simple. And if things feel better, I feel better. 
it just means to me I'm able to get or be comfortable in being creative, in making my notes, in writing my, my diary journal, in, in all sorts of ways. So I began to think, you know, I started doing that consciously. And as we all know, practice makes permanent. And I've noticed that some of those things, for myself that is, I have started to do naturally. Just tiny little things that you could have just, oh, it doesn't really matter. When you do them, and it takes no effort to do them whatsoever, it becomes a nicer place to be. It's like cha it's changing your environment slightly in a way that you're just making yourself at ease and therefore allowing yourself to focus on what you want. And then I began to think, you know, we can all do this, can't we? But we have to be a little bit selfish to, to say, well, I'm going to do it for myself. And they're only simple little things. That's all. And I, but I thought, you know, how can I use this? And I began to think, well, there are so many different ways, so many simple different ways that you can change or make other people's lives just a little bit better. You see, I read a book that was actually given to me by somebody and it did make my life just a little better. And it's a, about a guy, called, his name is Benjamin Stubbs. And it's a tiny little book. It's called The Law of Attraction. Perfect for people who say this stuff doesn't work. And it's a great read. And I love promoting stuff like this. Not that I get anything from it, because I don't. If I like it, I'll share it with you. The integrate field of learning. But part of it, he goes into just making things a little bit better. So you can go from fear, which is and panic, to maybe just moving up to insecurity. Then maybe you can change that insecurity to a little bit of doubt or disappointment, maybe. Then it could be pessimism. Then you can go to trust, hopefulness, maybe optimism. Then you start becoming enthusiastic, eagerness, happiness. And that's when you can then just get an even better feeling, like joy, passion, empowerment, freedom, love, appreciation. Because it's all about just changing your state a little bit. And I know I, I love changing people's states massively. But sometimes when we do it ourselves, it can be too big or a jump. So we need simple little steps. And this is what I think is. It's just simple little steps. The two just came into my mind um, while I was just thinking about this podcast. So if you want to get that book... Um, Please look it up. I'll repeat it again because it's always worth repeating. The Law of Attraction, Simples, Benjamin Stubbs, S-T-U-B-B-S. Lovely book, lovely book. He's actually got a website called thehappinesstrial.com. Anyway, that's the free plug for him. But thinking about how we can use this, you know, what are the small things we can do for people as we go along our own personal adventure? Maybe it's that just saying thank you in a different way. Maybe it's just saying how are you in a different way. Maybe it's being interesting and interested in a different way. Maybe it's just a smile. Simple as that. A smile, but a nice smile that says, hey, how you doing? Could be anything. Could be just a word that, you know, when you, when you see somebody you just go past them and go, hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Really pleased. You're looking well. I mean it. Because when you do those little things, man, it will make a difference. And, the, and this wonderful world of reciprocation, we talked about that in one of the longer podcasts, is that the universe, multiverse, will reciprocate this back to you in different ways. And immediately it will, you'll get something back because you'll feel good. So you're now doing simple things for other people that creatively and simply make your life better too. And that's amazing. And if, really, you have to think. It's a bit like pay it forward, I guess. But if we all did this, if we all did three simple things to make other people's life better and three simple things to make our life better each day, 
the ripples of change would go so blooming bloody far that we'd all it'd be like a, a tsunami of wonderful good feelings, wonderful good things, wonderful good intentions. The integrated field of learning would be pulsing with wonderful energies. Anyway, that's maybe taking that a little bit far, but just maybe have a think about that. What if you did do, consciously, three things for yourself? Small, tiny little things that just made your life better. Just moved you up that scale, 1%. And you did three simple things that made somebody else's life better. Three different people, maybe. Three things. You know, as simple as opening a door for somebody, helping somebody, saying, you're welcome, my pleasure. Enjoy doing that. Look after yourself. Make them feel special just in a tiny way. The whole world would change, wouldn't it? And people would just know that you're that type of person. The type of person who is there, compassionate. Maybe that's another way of being compassionate. Just being there with simple little ways. There you go. That was what I woke me up during the night. So simple. And I know... In simplicity, as we say, there is genius. So, maybe let's just give it a go for one day. And then maybe the next. Maybe the next after that. And then as you practice that, you start to become permanent. Hey, let's just have more fun than we can stand in the most simplest, wonderful way. Enjoy every wonderful heartbeat. Bye-bye now. Hey, thanks for listening. And just before you go on to do whatever you're going to do now, I'd just like to ask just a couple of things, really. One is, obviously, I've talked about sharing. And if you could share this podcast to a few people, pay it forward, that would be absolutely awesome. But also, if you go to places like iTunes, subscribe. Because subscriptions mean that we go into the charts it means we spread our word to other people. And also a review would be absolutely even more awesome. Even more awesome. And also know that obviously hypnosis tracks, they're all at paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. They're all there for you. They're all downloadable. So you can put them on any device you like. You can keep them forever with my compliments. And you can make up some wonderful things for yourself, different add processes together and have a great time. And also, if you'd also have a look round at paulcloughonline.com, it's the only thing other than my pocket that supports this show. We don't have advertisers. We don't do interviews and things like that trying to get around. So if you'd have a look on there, there's a couple of good, I believe, are really good courses. There's Supreme Inner Confidence, something to allow you to be who you really are, be authentic, you know, know that you're, You've got inner strength. You've got all the competence and confidence that you ever want. And there's also Free Your Life from Anxiety. That has five days. The first five days are absolutely free. You get an email every day with new things to to do. And at the end of those five days, you may even have let go of that anxiety. That's my aim. And if not, you move on to the next part of the program. They're all there. There's a couple of other paid hypnosis tracks where we've done a process, a series of processes for you such as creating that inner mind palace and things like that, or real deep, deep relaxation. But anyway, please have a look. It would be great if you did. Love some feedback. You can always contact me through my website, Paul Clough Online. No, it's not. It's paulclough.co.uk. And you can contact me through that that webpage. And you can also contact me on email, paul at paulclough.co.uk. Love your feedback. Love your questions. Love, love you. Okay, have more fun than you can stand. Personal, personal development. Personal development. Unplugged. 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 Unplugged.